Oh, hello, hello. We are back after a little while again. Um, I'm still not quite right, as you can probably hear in my voice. In fact, apologies, I just, I just had to disappear to cough a second. Because, God, I still have a pretty horrific cough cough at times which is keeping me up at night but i thought like before before idle blast comes up in a couple of days i'd uh get back to streaming a little bit obviously i streamed with fox the other day that was pretty fun but it's a uh, time to return to a little bit of normality and today's subject in fact i'm going to make myself smaller because of the nature of this game is FTL, which I'm sure many of you are already familiar with. It is a little bit of an old classic after all. I've actually just recently started playing it again after, you know, quite a while of, to be honest, not liking the game. Like, I liked, it's weird. I liked it originally, but I had a bit of a hate relationship with this game, especially because of the, the uh, primarily for me, it was the difficulty spike. Uh, the fact that, like, after uh, so many zones, the enemies just become quite a lot more brutal each uh, each time. And I didn't feel like I was able to keep up. But I've got a lot of battle at it, and I will say the Adjudicator is definitely my favourite ship. But that is not what we'll be flying today. But today, we will be riding the Taurus. Otherwise known as the old bucket of... Bolts. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, hang on. I'm just going to mute myself again. I'm dying. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to be flying the bucket of bolts today. And we are, in fact, where's my mouse gone? I've lost. Oh, that's why. I'd lost it, so. We're going to uh, even be using some of the Idle Blast clues, so we're going to have Ash as our uh, charismatic captain. We are going to have Knight Seven doing something, as he is as he's already a robot. It feels fitting, and then we're also going to have a very robotic version of Skrilla coming in. So we've got ourselves a little crew. We're not going to play with any of the advanced content because I don't know anything about it yet. Maybe one of the last runs of the night we'll do is advanced, but we'll figure it out. Yeah. So anyway, let's go on ahead. So for those of you who don't know, we're part of the Federation and we have information to help defeat the Rebellion, but we must get all the way through several sectors uh, without being caught or killed and deliver that information to the Federation to help win the war. Unfortunately, they've hired this clusterfuck of goons. So we have, in fact, Skrilla, you're going to go into gunnery, and I'm going to have... Uh, Skrilla's going to come into the engine room, because he is our mechanic normally, and although Knight 7 isn't usually, uh, is usually our pilot, I'm going to have him on gunnery today. So we have an Ion Blaster so that we can disable, disable enemy systems temporarily. And we also have a combat drone which we can throw out, which will just do its own shit and hopefully uh, secure us some easy kills early on. So we have the star map and we're just gonna trek, uh, trek on. A ship with a conspicuous pirate, uh, with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon, broadcasting a simple message claiming to have equipment available for sale. I'm going to attack him. He's a pirate. And early on, you know, that's just free goods. Oh. Oh, he's just teleported a crew member on. That probably isn't good. But we do have medibots all within the ship. I should remember to keep shooting. Oh, God. This is going tits up already. Uh, Go. Repair. Drones. We will accept their surrender. Which meant... They, their crew member fucks off. 
Luckily, our, cr our crew is mostly made up of NG, so repairing systems is uh, actually pretty easy for us. But what that right that right there is exactly how you should not captain the ship, because I completely forgot about our guns almost immediately. <coughs> I'm so sorry. This is going to be, unfortunately, a bit of a slog of a stream, I think. Luckily, it's only a short one tonight. Uh, yeah, we'll head north a bit. I don't want to get caught in the nebula, because, actually, no, yeah, we'll go south. That way we can sort of link back. And, oh, we're going to have to go for the nebula either way. I hate going into nebulas, because the most annoying event is the energy draining that they have. Ah, this is just a slaver event. I've played this enough to know that if you kick their ass enough, they will give you a free crewmate. And so there's no reason to ever take this first option. Unfortunately, they have Zoltan shields, which is this little bar here. Uh, they're a bit of a pain because, well, uh, every time they jump in, they get like a free barrier, which nothing can pierce. Uh, it's only got so much value, but... We should be good. Out. And that's our O2 taken out. I'm going to go send one of our crewmates to go deal with that. Before that becomes a problem. I wish we could put some targeting priority on our uh, little attack drone there. Because uh, he certainly does not know what's the best thing to shoot. Ah, oh, shit. We don't even have any drones anymore now. So we're just going to keep nailing with the Ion Blast, keep his systems disabled, and we're just going to try and repair the drones and get them back in working order. There we go. We'll leave it for now, because we need to just keep focusing on having the... Oh, sweet! We've actually taken out their oxygen. And they're willing to give us a free alien. So we'll take that, and we'll let them live. We'll go over there and repair it, and we've got a new boy who we will put on shielding. So he's a Mantis, and they're better at killing people so he is going to be our crew sodden because he is our uh, mountain of murder and then get everyone back into their positions so we've not been making a lot of money so far in this uh, run which is a little concerning we've only gained a, like eight scrap especially as we've lost nearly a third of the bar of our ship this hasn't actually been a very good start. Uh, you've jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a, a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens, and you can still see the remain, uh, remains of the dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Well, let's investigate. Hey, Sodden, how you doing? As you approach the wreckage, a Zoltan ship makes it survival. It immediately mistakes you for uh, for one of the attackers. The clergy is a hostile aggressor in violation of Zoltan space and opens fire. Well, shit, we found the space police. But I fucking get through these shields as fast as possible because, man, the Zoltan shields terrify me. I just need their guns to stop shooting for two seconds. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm still a little bit uh, bunged up, but uh, I'm hoping to be a bit, you know, all good for Idle Blast on Thursday. So. Okay, we've taken. It. Uh, they've repaired their oxygen, but uh, our drone is making nice work of them at this point. And they haven't actually been able to lay a scratch on us so to our shields. So that was actually pretty good. We actually won one without it being a clusterfuck. And we even got a nice little bit of cash for it and some of our drone parts back, which is nice. Uh, we jump in here. I'm just going to mute myself again real quick. I am just going to uh, bind myself real quick a button for that, actually. Um... Where do I bind it? I'll be ready either way, sort of, it's, um, but it'd just be a case of will I have to have a button on standby to mute myself every two seconds. 
you know what, I can't work out immediately how to set a keybind on this, so I'm just going to go... I'm just not going to worry about it. Shit. A mantis military skip hells your ship. Foolish alien. Your kind has stifled our greatness for way too long. You will rue the day you back the Federation. These guys are bastards because they usually have teleporters. Luckily, in this case, uh, they don't. Because their favourite strategy, or their preferred strategy, is usually, uh, it seems, uh, leap aboard your ship and try and kill your crew from the inside. But, um... Good old combat drone has actually picked some pretty good targets this time. And, uh... This fight should be over. Now. Good little drone boy. That's cameraman Jim doing the work. Except he's actually armed. <laughs> okay. Uh, either way, we're going to have to go into the nebula. I'm not looking forward to this, but here we go. Okay. Oh, fuck. So it's a scout with cloaking, and it's also charging its FTL to get away. This could be a problem. I'm going to have to keep its engine da down so it doesn't get away. But I also want to nullify its uh, weapons at some point because it has a pretty nasty ion cannon. And incoming. <laughs> yep, and we took a hit. Not what we wanted, but... That not that uh, ion cannon is doing pretty nasty work to our shields. Ooh. We did get a breach bomb from it, though. I don't know where we pulled that from because uh, it certainly didn't have any of those on it. That actually might be a nice alternative to the Ion Blast, although it takes way longer to charge. Because we could just drop it straight onto their shields instead. But... For the, for the time it's taking to charge, probably isn't a good shout. I'm going to skip out on the store for now, just because there's a chance to earn a little bit more money before we go there. Uh, a pirate ship pursuing a civilian ship. You detect the message from the civilian. Oh, the stress freak you can see. Uh, let's give him a hand. When you're in this first zone, there's almost no reason not to fight. Because most of the fights are pretty easy. Oh, you've never seen FTR before. I'm a Oh, shit. Our oxygen's down. Ghost Grella. Um, is it... It's a pretty old game at this point. I think it was 2012 at first released, but it's uh, it's aged very well. I definitely recommend giving it a shout, especially while the Steam sales are on. If you can pick up, uh, grab it. It was only like six quid anyway, uh, so about eight bucks. I think that was. I don't know. Um, it's pretty fun. Um, it sort of came about like right at the start of like the rogue like. Uh, like, rush, I guess. In fact, I think this was crowdfunded as well. Oh. Okay, we'll go to the store first. We got 70 scrap. Because we can either get repairs or buy something. Ooh, or oh, we can get a better combat drone. How much power does that require? Four. Alternatively, we could get a second one. Okay, this one attacks more often. No, this, uh, this is a, a f fairly old uh, game. Uh, but it's definitely worth getting, I'd say. Especially for the price point. It is, it is a pretty fun experience. Uh, reloader, long range scanners. I'll buy the advanced one. And how much would it cost to upgrade... No, not the store. How much would it cost to upgrade drones? So I need 30 scrap to get more drones, I and mean, then I'd need at least 50 scrap for the power. So there's nothing I could do there. Is there anything which could gain me more money? I can't afford any of it anyway. Uh, I'll get a little bit of repairs. And then we'll carry on. In fact, we'll jump to the nebula again, even though I don't normally like it. Oh, God. This uh, cough is horrific. God damn it. 
Uh, right, pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Um, after you, judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume it's a smuggler. Let's blast! Oh fuck, it's a rebel ship. Well, actually, no, it's not a rebel ship, but it uses the same pattern. That is fine, though. We have missed everything. Jesus Christ! Uh, and our med base, by the sounds of it, on fire. So I'm just gonna avoid it. Who needs a med bay, right? <laughs> I mean, our crew is mostly robots, so... But, yeah, all, all we're gonna do is keep nail nailing the uh, weapon systems over and over again with the ion blasters. I do wish you could leave it to fire and forget. Fire's out, so I close the doors. Let our oxygen generate. Uh, free fuel, two missiles, and seven scrap. Ignore that because we can get more scrap for killing them. I don't care about the missiles and I got plenty of fuel, so. Like, they are slowly suffocating to death on their ship. Can we see inside it? No, not even with someone operating. Nebulas are a pain. You know, one more blast, uh, blast from our drone. Never mind, he can't aim. Nobody can aim on this bow. Jesus Christ. Uh, we, we just all closed our eyes and hoped, I think. We get Skrunner and Knight into the uh, mud bay to give it a quick repair. As their engines, they repair a lot faster, which is nice. And yeah, they're already done, so... Let's go hit the distress beacon. Uh, and look... Look at a nearby human mining colony where an unknown disease has spread ver uh, virulently. They're setting up a quarantine to contain it, but a riot has broken out. Man, if that doesn't sound like the last two years. <laughs> so we can send in our crew, ignore their request, or because we've got NG crews, we can send them down. Which is a much better choice, and will always win you the situation if you have the NGs. Because they're mostly mechanical, so they can't be affected by the disease. Well, with no fear of catching the disease, your engine crewmates help reassure and organize the infected humans. Khan, by its extensive knowledge of human physiology, the infected submit to the quarantine in hopes that a cure can be found soon. The colony le uh, leaders offer a reward for helping to prevent an ugly incident. So we got free fuel, a drone part, and some scrap out of it. Not a lot, but considering we didn't have to do anything and we had two NGs, problem solved. And that about wraps up for Sector 1. We hit the last beacon. There'll probably be some sort of event. Oh no, we don't. Oh wait, yeah we do. A small platform orbits near this beacon. It looks like a fueling station of some sort. And it's cheerily broadcasting reasonable prices and spectrum frequencies. I am going to ignore this. I know there's a chance that it goes horribly wrong and crew will board me and break some of my systems. And I don't want that. I've got plenty of fuel. There's no there's no reason to risk it. Okay. We can either go through an uncharted nebula, which I pretty much always avoid, or we can go through rock controlled territory, which is hostile. So You know, I've still yet to work out the difference between a hostile and a civilian sector, as bad as it sounds. Because you get attacked just as much in either. But we're gonna go to Rockland. And the reason I'm going to choose Rockland is because I goddamn hate nebulas with a passion. The rock people are powerful and a proud race. It's not unheard of to have a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. Sounds about right. So our exit's down there, so we can take any route we want. And I'm going to sort of skim it around the edge, I think. We'll start with the short range jump first, though. Uh, okay, that... A small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones offering repairs. I'm going to ignore this because I'm saving the money. And let's hit the distress beacon. That That's probably good for us. Uh, it's coming from the surface of a nearby moon. The sensors are picking up a single light form. Go down and investigate. You find a colony that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Let's invite him to join. Uh, he states that he's a weapons operator before being stranded. 
He happily offers his service for the time in exchange for getting off that rock. Well, there we go. Charlie the Rock Man. You can be our weapons operator. Uh, Knight 7 can go oper... Do I get a bonus for operating drones? I don't think so. No, but I'm going to keep him in... Actually, no, I'll put him in the camera room. Because we can see the inside of the enemy ship and see what they're up to. And then he can go around running around doing repairs. We're just hitting off. So we have a nice little crew with us now. Um, you are immediately hailed by a mobile docking platform upon arrival. Welcome to Uncle John's Fix-It Shop. Need a tune-up? We got you covered. Uh, let's see what their speciality is. Upgrade oxygen system. Nah, we don't, we don't need better oxygen. We need better, better drones. And in fact, I can already upgrade the drone station. Uh, worst case scenarios, I could always turn off the uh, ion blaster and put on the better combat drone. Or, yeah, because I don't quite have enough power elsewhere. Once I get one more bar, I can balance it by taking away power from the med bay. Few threaters pass by, but they refuse all communications. Must not want to sully their reputation by talking with foreigners. Well, that's pretty fucking rude. Let's go. This has been really weirdly peaceful. Ah, uh, speak of the devil. You encounter a small craft with minimal propulsion. Its rock crew members explain that the rock homeworld is on uh, is run on lies and propaganda that keeps the populace in check, and they want no part of that. Uh, I'll promise to share that with them the truth they've been denied. They seem tempted by your offer, but decline. They can't be arrested being lied to again. They close frequencies and jump away. Well, that was weird. I've never seen that event before. Um, I guess maybe I should use the other option. Because eventually I could have got a crew teleporter with them, I suppose. And, you know, just go and board them. Uh, board enemy ships for fun. You get a lot more rewards for killing the crew than you do for destroying the ship. Ah, it's another rock ship. Uh, and recognize your outcast deck. Um, a rock ship flies past your windows and you recognize the outcast decorations in the hull. These must be pirates. Oh, yeah, shit. There's only two of them at least. So if we just keep planking away. And there we go, one of their guns is down, and as long as they've only got one, our shields can recharge faster than they can fire. My god damn, is our drone a terrible shot? What I'm gonna do is disable the auction for a bit if I can. There we go. Because, oh. Uh, it, uh, actually, it's going to take a long time to kill them through suffocation using an ion blaster. Ah, uh, shit, and all their weapons are back online. Come on, please hit one. Ow, shit. Well, we took a hit. But it's not too bad. It's only one damage. But I did want to kind of avoid it, especially as they've got rocket launchers and they bypass shields. As long as it's only their uh, main gun. There we go. This is the one downside to using drones for combat. Is that obviously you are very much at the mercy of drones doing their job properly. But we get that. Oh, uh, a motley collection of rock ships are stationed at this beacon. They look to have resorted to a pirate's life. Defensive maneuvers. Well, this is a chance to try our new drone. We've had him for a little while, and now he gets a chance. He attacks a lot faster as well. Oh, we got lucky with that miss there. Missiles are a nightmare because they can just bypass any shields you have. And, speak of the devil, yeah. And they can even breach holes in your ship and all sorts. It's You just do not want to be messing with that. God damn it, they've taken, taken our shields out and everything. Luckily, we've taken their oxygen and they're driving out. Oh, piloting, should I say. And their ship's even on fire. Never mind, the whole thing has exploded. Uh, 
So let's start sending crew members around to repair holes and ships and things like that. And we can even put some power back into the med bay again, which gets our um, medi drones running. So the one benefit of this rock ship, uh, energy ship, sorry, not rock, is we have the, these medi bots spare cells. So we just have little nanites everywhere, which heals everybody up regardless of whether they're in the med bay or not. But the med bay is still significantly faster. And these rock boys here, they're immune to fire. So that fire we set on the enemy ship wouldn't have actually done much, but damaged some of their equipment, I suppose, which would have been nice. But luckily, uh, they exploded, so... Oh, no. This is bad. Unusual solar activity in this region means that you need to get out of here quick. The rock pirates nearby apparently, uh, nearby apparently think otherwise as they move to attack your ship. This is going to be super bad for us. In fact, this has got even worse because they've decided that they're going to board us and try to, uh, like, break our oxygen. And I am good. I, I don't want to be here too long because the sun is going to start exploding. Speak of the devil, it's getting ready. Please don't set, make too many fires. All right, we're gonna send more crew to go deal with that. Crew to the med bay, we need to get healed up. We're gonna close those doors because they're let, we're letting all the oxygen out. And Ash can go to the med bay too. And then back to all your crew positions. Because we need to get out of here as fast as possible before these fires become even more of a problem. Luckily, that was right on an airlock door, so we can just void the fire. We are going to hit one more stop on the way. Uh, we're at the civilian ship. It's just the regular civilian ship trouble. And combat drone, let's go. We are starting to get a little low on fuel, and I am getting concerned for the drone parts that we have, but... Ah, oh, shit, they got... Oh, okay. So they got a weapon which teleports bombs on, but luckily it's, uh... I think it's an anti-crew one, so it only damaged the systems and killed the crew. So it won't actually damage the ship, thankfully. Oh, nice, we made uh, short work of them. And we got a bonus paycheck for actually helping civilians, too. So we're going to upgrade our power a little bit, and then... We're actually going to... Uh, spec into having some better shields. We don't have the power for it yet, but once we do, uh, we will have a bit more breathing room against some of these weapons. Uh, as soon as you arrive, you receive a Federation encrypted message. A rebel ship has been terrorizing the local civilians of the system. Please seek and destroy it. We don't have time to deal with this. The rebel fleet is literally right on our ass, and uh, going to look for one seems a bit pointless right now. Uh, so we got the choice. We can either go to Zoltan or NG controlled territory. I'm going to pick NG because I know there is p the potential for a quest line to retrieve technology which would uh, normally um, unlock us a new ship. So I'm going to go down here. And while we're loading in, I'm just going to go have a quick coughing fit. Full screening this. Uh, full screening this game was a bit of a bad choice, I think. Uh, you have arrived at the NG space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. So we have a store, we have some early beacons. I'm going to hit here, so then I can even loop back to the store. So I'm going to need more fuel at some point, but... Uh, you come across an asteroid mining colony. They message you immediately saying greetings. Our supplies of mining explosives have run out ever since the rebels blockaded the system. Do you have any extra explosives? I'll give them the five missiles. And they even upgraded my, uh... Energy, uh... By, uh, my energy? My reactor by one. Which is actually pretty nice. Because that means we can upgrade our shields and we can still keep our... Um, like, juggle the medkit. Oof, that, that sucks, lawyer. How you doing, anyway? Doing good? Oh, 
Ah, oh, shit, this one's got two shields. And it's got a stealthing system. Uh, it at first, it appears you've arrived in an empty system, but a ship appears from behind a planet and hails you. Ha-ha! I am the Dread Pirate Tuco. Prepare to die. Uh, quickly, we're just going to save the med bay, and we're going to get... We can't charge our iron blaster until they appear, but now that we can, uh, we're just going to keep nailing that shield with the goal of la uh, keeping that down long enough for our drone to be able to actually damage them. At least that's the dream. But by the looks of it, this dream is a pretty bad one. I'm going to send extra helping hands to repair the weapon systems. We don't need to see what their crew are doing, we just need to keep their shields down. I think this is going to be a case of us having to flee. Because unless we start hitting these shots much better, we are going, we are already at 50% hull, which is very worrying. And they can just be repairing all this time. Keep the fire going, come on. Come on, why are, why am I missing so many shots? We've got a tier 2, like, like a maxed out gunnery guy, pretty much. Oxygen's down, go send a guy to repair. Combat drones are down, so we'll send out the other one. We need to keep this damage out. God damn it, they, they dodged. Okay, we're damaging their weapon systems. I'm terrified of that beam weapon they've got. Let's get, get our drones repaired. So we want our better drone. For that very reason, we are at under a third health now. This is this might be it, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, I think they might have us. Alright, we're powering up the better combat drone. And let's just keep firing. Come on, all stations go. Come on, hit. There we go. Come on, drone. Don't do this to me. Oh, God. I I'm very concerned right now. There is not a lot I can do about this situation. When that beam weapon fires, we're going to lose like six more health, I swear. Our drone just does not fire fast enough to get past these shields. Yikes. Right, get in there, repair that oxygen. Come on, this is so close. This is just a race against time. Can we get two shots in before their beam weapon fires again? I will accept your surrender. Jesus Christ. <sighs> well, that was stressful. So. We have four points of our hull left. And only 21 bucks for repairs. I think we're not going to make this run. The NG can do remarkable things with just a pile of scrap. The NG hive at this beacon are selling equipment just for that. Yeah, it costs us 52 bucks to fully repair, but man. I will sell my tier 1 combat drone for a bit of extra money. Because I can almost repair my ship. And let's just pray to God that we aren't in a situation where my uh, engineering goes, uh, my drones go down again. Because that is all, oh, fucking hell. A pi uh, this beacon has been placed too close to a supergiant Class M star. This ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here. Or die. A pirate apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun moves in to engage. Why are they shields too and cloaking all of them? What the hell? This is bullshit. Alright, just keep firing. And let's just hope that we can stack enough ion charges onto them. Oh, good. The piloting is uh, food bars, which means we can't dodge. But luckily, uh, their oxygen's down. And maybe they're catching fire. Ah, shit, our oxygen's down. And we're on fire. Fuck. Well, that, what a cruel twist of fate there. 
Ah, oh, shit. Drones. Drones in trouble. Oh, Things are about to get very spicy again. Oh, of course they set fire to our bloody oxygen room. God damn it. They've even damaged our shields. At least their oxygen stuff's down. Let's have a look at the inside of their ship. We're not going to accept surrender from these assholes. Not after this. Oh good, their, their entire ship is on fire. As they deserve to be. Uh, okay, oxygen's down again. Our door control's down. That's fine. Rockman here is good at dealing with uh, good old fire. And the lack of oxygen actually helped us. Who would have thought that suffocating to death slowly would have been uh, the best thing for your crew? Okay, uh, we need to put power back into the med station. Let's get all, uh, all our systems repaired. Oh shit, yeah, there is still a fire. We need to, a uh, uh, big ball of fire. We need to leave. We are out. Okay, it's another battlefield. We, get, we are going to investigate it. There's very little remains. Disappointed you prefer to jump. And we just dodged the fire in time. Holy shit. Okay. Well, our crew is in one piece. We did lose like another third of the ship. But, all things considered, I think we're doing pretty well. Uh, especially considering we've spent half our time on fire or exploding. We've just put a bit more power to the engines. Because that means we should be able to dodge some more shit. And we've just driven straight into a fucking asteroid field. Man! Do I just have the shittest luck or what? Wait, why are they on fire? Oh, my drone set fire to them. Oh, hell yeah. This is going to be an easy fight. Never mind. Their oxygen's down. Their guns are down. Their shields are down. They're getting hit by rocks. They can't repair stuff fast enough. Now their shields are on fire. I'm not accepting that surrender. There we go. Easy cash. Now we just uh, wait for a little bit. We've got more than enough shield to deal with any asteroids. While we're waiting. Hmm. Right. We should have enough charge now. So we leave. And we'll head straight to a distress beacon. I'm getting a little worried about the lack of fuel, but that'll probably be fine. Uh, it's coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their crew can't approach without being fired on. Let's promise to help. Um, oh, we actually have two options and I don't know what the outcome for either of these are. So we can either disable the defense system with our iron weapons or we can remotely repair it with its, uh, repair its targeting system with our crew. I'm going to use the NG crew. Uh, your crew member is able to remotely fix the glitch and the defense AI, allowing their repair crew to close and finish the job. Uh, uh, the station gives you its thanks along with a reward. Well, hell yeah. Energy crew has saved us twice now. Once with um, a pandemic and now with a malfunctioning defense system. We've even got a beam drone. I don't know anything about these drones. I don't usually play with drones, so... Okay, that doesn't seem too bad. It uses a beam instead of a regular laser. Let's start working towards upgrading this then. So that we can uh, use more drones. Uh, we'll head south. Uh, yet another battlefield. Let's investigate it. And fuck all again. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought? Okay, let's keep the journey going. See what we get. Uh, they want to offer me five missiles for a fuel. I ignore that because... I don't want any missiles, and I can't sell them, which is really annoying. Uh, an advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. I'm going to attack it. 
So I want to try out my new drone. And I know these don't usually have shields, so... Now all they got is an ion gun. Which will disable my shields, but... Well, at least one tier, but they don't have any weapons now. Okay, so this drone... Uh, this uh, laser drone is exactly like having the halberd beam from the Zoltan ship. I really love the beam weapons in this game. But they are critically weak to... Um, what's it? Shielding. So, not the best. Uh, you've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Uh, for one drone part, I can buy eight fuel. I will buy that. Because one drone part is like free scrap. And I desperately need the fuel. And why I do need the drone parts. Okay, so we got two choices. We got a slug controlled nebula and a slug home nebula. I don't know what the difference is, but it means I can diverge into a civilian sector, which is a little bit more peaceful. I believe there's also the chance to get the slug ship here. Although I don't uh, remember how you get the slug stuff, so I probably won't get it this run. I've yet to unlock most of the ships in this game. Uh, the slugs developed on an ocean planet where the ability to telepathically sense another organism was more important than sight. Today they use this ability to navigate unfettered the depths of a neb uh, the nebulas they inhabit. Well that's good for them, because uh, our camera systems just don't work in nebulas 99% of the time. So I don't want to spend too long in the system. And we've run into a slug vessel. Um, they've obviously made a big score and they're looking to test their new armaments. They've picked the wrong ship to attack. Actually, I think they've picked the right ship to attack because I don't think we're going to be able to do much against these boys. And that weapon there terrifies me. I know that's a beam weapon, the same one which fucked us up before. I just need to get some... Come on! Why is my gunner so shit? Get in there. Come on. You've got this. Alright, we've disabled one gun. Can we disable another? Never mind, back to one. Oxygen needs repairing, we need drones repairing. And just keep on firing. Keep a going. Keep a going. Okay, their oxygen's down. That's actually not bad. If we just keep firing. Just keep keep the damage out. That's all we need to do. There we go. Shields are down. And our drone is missing constantly. This is our, like, open chance, and our gunners are missing, and oh god, okay, we, we permanently disabled one gun for now, okay, both guns are down, uh, you've bested us, will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives? Ooh, we don't know what that's gonna be, they did just score big, and get new weapons, so that might not mean they have anything, let's see, uh, take this f uh, newly developed weapon we're transporting. They're not going to be happy we gave it up, but is, that is for sure. Except the prototype weapon. Or we want information. I think information gets us towards the slug ship. But, man, that weapon do be looking spicy. I'm going to take the weapon. The odd beam weapon does no damage to ships, but instead greatly hurts the crew. Diabolical. In fact, I'm going to use that over the um, Ion Blaster. Because we are running someone in to, like their uh, security room. So we can see where their crew are. And we can start gunning them down, essentially. It won't work so well in this nebula, I don't think. But... Uh, two slugs are in communication. Let's tap them. 
You overhear their conversation and learn they're planning to raid an infamous and likely wealthy pirate ship in the area. The pair jump off and you note down the target coordinates. Add a quest marker to your map. Okay, we hit the stress signal, we can hit the quest, and then we can go back on our way to escaping the system. Uh, you arrive to find a slug ship in the middle of boarding a disabled rock freighter. Let's engage them. Uh, you charge your weapons and the slugs immediately back down. When you return to the freighter, the rockmen have already repaired the worst of their damage and jump away without another word. So, bugger all happened. <laughs> Great. You catch up with the two slug ships and they're already carrying out the raid. One is in close combat with the pirates and the other seems to be heading for a small space catch the pirate was protecting. Suddenly the first ship bursts into flames and an urgent call arrives from the remaining slugs. We suggest you distract the pirate vessel with while we retrieve the valuables. 50-50 split. Let's engage the ship. Okay. And the slug just basically booked it. Oh my god, that's a lot of room for that laser. Oh, okay. I see the problem here. It does not bypass shields. It's suddenly nowhere near as useful as I thought it might be. And everything is now going tits up. Uh, I want my Mantis back in the uh, shield room. Okay. Okay, we got power again. That's why we we didn't have room for power with the uh, O2 on. Oh shit, why did we not have O2 in there? Shit, I let one of my crew die. Oh god, everything's going horribly wrong. Oh no, we died. We've... Oh, fucking hell. Well... <laughs> that was a, uh, clusterfuck. I just completely lost my marbles during that fight. And, uh, I paid for it. So... Sorry, uh, I, I just looked at the Kestrel and it... It's because I, I, I'm not used to playing this in full screen mode, but the Kestrel looks really elongated in it. I was really confused. So, I'm going to take my favourite ship this time. The Adjudicator. And... Uh, we don't have any of the extra layer, uh, layouts for it, but that's fine. Yeah, it was, it, it was going pretty alright until that... Um, bloody slugs event. I shouldn't have helped them. So this time I don't have any drones. Instead I have a nice uh, halberd beam. Which is uh, one of my favourite weapons in this game. I've got a spare shitty rocket launcher. And the thing that's special about these guys. So they're called Zoltan. And these guys are walking energy generators. So they actually provide power to the systems they're working on. Which is really nice. Because it also means upgrading energy in this ship is cheap because they give us a lot less um, energy to make up for the fact that we, uh, uh, to balance out the fact that we get free energy for free, so. Okay, pirates are attacking a ship. Let's give them a hand. So this is why I really like the laser weapons in this game. It's because you can plot a route like this and hit as many rooms as possible. And they do... Two damage minus however many shields are active. So in this case, one damage. And as you can see, half the system's fucking gone. <laughs> Still got a little bit of everything, but not for long. In fact, the ship will die in this next explosion. Or next rake. There we go. We even got a system repair drone. Not that we can use it. And it seems the crew did not survive the assault. You take what you can from the remains. That's a shame, but, you know, toys the ship's loot. Not gonna complain. Also, we now have- we have a Zoltan shield ourselves, so it can take five hits before 
anything can get through our shielding. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant ship seems to be mass broadcasting a re request for a mercenary ship. Shall we respond? Yeah, let's do it. We, we, we can be some good mercs. Hmm. Great! I was worried no one would respond. My usual carrier is days late. I need you to deliver this cargo of drone parts to a small station a few jumps from here. We can't afford to pay another carrier, but they will surely tip you generously. Let's take it. Um, so they've given us five drone parts to transport, and we just need to hit over there. Should be nice and easy. Can't see that getting too complicated. Uh, it's just the refueling event again. I'm going to ignore it because I don't want my ship to catch fire. You follow the distress beacon to a tiny asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. Let's offer to assist them. Uh, our shields are down and we won't last long. Let's try and shield our ship, uh, their ship with ours. You try your best, but one stray rock hits a key structure in their ship. It breaks apart in front of your eyes. You salvage what you can before leaving and try not to think about the lost crew. Yikes. Well, that got depressing quick. Let's hit this star and then we'll, we'll go around to the uh, store because we should earn a little bit of money from this. It is just a regular Mantis ship. It's a little bit of an awkward one because of the shape. It means I can't use my Hellbuds as well. But that's fine. Oxygen, uh, health and weapons are all on one side. And those are the main things I want to take out, so. But their oxygen is now fully dead. So I don't even have to worry about that. I think that beam should take them out in the next hit. We'll soon find out. Okay, it didn't kill them, which is surprising. I will give you that. I'm gonna wait and see. In fact, I'm gonna rearm missiles instead. So I wanna see if with the missiles, hey Fox, uh, if I can just suffocate them to death. I've only got one last shot at it because the missiles only do one damage and we don't have any other way of dealing with the crew, but we've got a missile loaded in the chamber ready just in case. Okay, they fixed it. Missile way. Bye bye, Manta ship. Okay. Well, at least that resolves itself. Off to the store we go. Uh, there's only one other ship at this beacon, and it's showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveler. We were crippled by a band of pirates, and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Damn, that's some expensive equipment. Stealth weapon? Man, if I had the money, that would have been like a perfect run right there. Cloaking and stealth weapons together. Mwah. I would have been able to charge up my beams without the enemy even being able to charge their own stuff and just blast them. Yeah, it's not quite. My first ship, uh, the bucket of bolts, had the entire Star Blast, uh, Idle Blast c crew with us. Um, sadly, they're now dead in deep space. So, uh, uh, rest in peace them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy the Scrap Recovery Arm. Because that's 10% more money each time we... Uh, like we win a battle and that is uh really good for us that snowballs are hard uh, you begin charging your ftl drive and do a quick scan of a local planet you find the ruins of a recently destroyed federation colony on the surface there must be a rebel ship in the vicinity let's go looking for it after sh sh pardon me after a short search you find the rebel ship let's hope he's as easy to defeat in combat as he was to find Okay, we can take out all his major systems. In fact, I'm going to go with the oxygen first over the health station. Oh no. I, by playing FDL, I accidentally pre uh, predicted the future of our crew. <laughs> so, uh, 
Yeah, we're, we're, we're now we're just going to try and focus on blasting out these middle sections for a bit. Their weapons are coming back online, but we still got a little bit of assault and energy shields, shielding, as well as our regular shielding, so. They will suffocate, or they will die by laser. They're, there's only two options, and they chose laser. Alright. Where does the quest go? Okay. So I have to come back to that distress beacon either way. So I need to hit it. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them and ask them what's wrong. We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Fuck that, I'm not getting involved. My crew will die to giant alien spiders, I'm sure of <laughs> it. Okay, we've arrived at the station. Uh, it took you long enough. We have practically no use for these now. I refuse to pay full price. Take this and leave the cargo in our holds. Yeah, sure. 30 bucks. I'll take it. We have no need for the parts anyway, so... This is gonna get dicey. Because we are, like, right in the warning zone of the rebel fleet. Uh... Next session, I feel like one of us is going to pick a fight, or we're gonna get into that situation, and it's just going to be a full-on brawl for us with somebody, and one of us might cop it. <laughs> Uh, you found the exit beacon, for, but the rebels got hit first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Oxygen shields and weapons. That's it. What was that? Oh! Oh yeah, because we're, uh... We're, we're in a bad place right now. We shouldn't be here, technically. Uh, we're... ASB lock. I don't like the sound of that. I need to just, just shoot down as much of their shields as possible. Get in there. Get in there, lads. Oh no, our engine's down, our oxygen's down. Our shield's down. <sighs> One bit of root mismanagement has probably been enough to end this entire run. Oh, holy shit. One of our boys just got blasted, I think. I think we're just gonna help end this ourselves. Void all the oxygen. You were a good crew. Rest in peace. Oh. And that is why you plan your routes out better so you don't mess with the fucking rebel fleets. I did not expect my second run to only last like five minutes. Okay, this time we're gonna go with Kestrel. Um, there's nothing particularly special about the ship. This is just the uh, base game one, the one you start with. But this time I'm gonna turn on advanced edition content. I don't know what it adds, but we'll soon find out. So, we're a pretty bog standard ship. Uh, we got some nice burst lasers, so that fires a burst of two, I think. Oh no, three charges, sorry. Ah, uh, so, you know, pretty good at getting through shields. And we have a missile just in case. And a pretty decent looking star map, to be honest. We'll try and keep it to the, like, upper segments, I guess. And we immediately found a fucking sun. We have a rebel ship. Oh, of course we did. I swear to God. This game hates me. So, the drone won't do much because it's only got a beam weapon which does one damage. So, I say that as it just damages my ship. So, as long as, uh... I have shields up, it can't hurt me. But, when the main gun takes out my stuff, then obviously I have a problem. Incoming fire, let's prepare. Okay, good. My shields are on fire. Just exactly what I didn't need. Have a good night, Sodden. Enjoy your drive. Okay. At least this uh, ship is a sitting duck now, pretty much. Other than the thought of its engines and driving systems intact, but... We need to just... All crew, like, 
get over there and repair as fast as possible. So we're about to have a whole nother fire. Uh, as I don't know where the fire is. Okay, I now know where the fire is. So I can make a bit of a decision on that. Um, we just void all this. And then we hope. Our, our poor little oxygen bay is working overtime. Alright, in fact, I'll send two crew members to deal with that. Okay. Run, boy, run. Get those uh, that driving system repaired. Because we need to go before the next solar flare. Otherwise, we're just going to get caught in a loop. Uh, speaking of which... Okay, we can deal with that one. Oh no! I'm me, me. I'm going to be very concerned, especially as the uh, resident ship's engineer. This sounds like it's a lot of me work, <laughs> and uh, as we've discovered so far, I'm a very bad engineer. <laughs> uh, I'm not sending my crew down to help with that because my crew is all human, and I'm not willing to give them the COVID. Alright, and back to their original stations, and next jump. We stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They are powering up their FTO. If they get away, there will be no uh they will be no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Charge the lasers. Alright, first goal. Weapon systems down. Okay, the ship is now on fire, but they have no engines, and they have no weapons. So I can step away from there, and I can just open the, uh, open the void. Hopefully those fires will burn out. There we go. Oh, it's a good thing I had a crew member in the oxygen bay. Probably should stick a second one in just in case. And let's hope this laser just make nails a nice hit. There we go. Need to get that oxygen system repaired and run to the med bay, boys. Don't die of asphyxiation, please. So the Kestrel's certainly seen better days, but could be worse. Could very much be worse. Yeah, that's true. Let's hope that uh, Shinobu can save our lives. Because I'm probably more likely to eat the oxygen bay than fix it. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yeah, let's do it. So yeah, he has a delivery. Where on the map does he want the delivery? We are going to be zooming to that point. I'm not getting caught by the rebel fleet again. Not like that. Uh, no signs of life on that planet. Just industry. Get down this way. And we've run into an asteroid field with a bloody ship in there. So we're just gonna uh, keep nailing it with uh, lasers whenever we get a chance. Yeah. Unfortunately, while the enemy has a weapon system, there is, like, and tier one, sh you've only got tier one shields. You're always gonna take damage in this fight. Well, that's fine. It's trying to flee. There is no escape for you, my friend. And we won't accept surrender. We're blasting your oxygen. Now that you're just a sitting duck. 
<laughs> nice. Can't upgrade the ship here because we're in danger. And the FTL is almost charged, so that's good. Alright, next system. Uh, intervene to defend the outpost. So they, they were approaching an outpost, but weapons charged, but not firing yet. Now uh, the rebels responds to your fleet. I don't know who you are, but no one defies the rebel fleet. And they move in to engage. Okay. Weapons free. Let's go. We're just going to try and take out their weapon system. And okay, that missile hit. That's fine. Weapons are down. That's what we want. That's what we like to see. Next for the shielding. Okay, it's damaged. Which is enough for me. I don't want to remove anyone from weapons because it increases our charge rate. Ah, nice. My weapons are permanently uh, down again. Uh, you have to worry about that other uh, thing. Uh, you, yeah, you, you have to worry about the thing that I've changed because I'm doing spaceship combat differently. Oh, fuck! <laughs> um, you will have a wonderful time after your shields go down. Uh, I am now very scared, Fox. You you really know how to put uh, uh, fear of God into a player. So you can which I am now upgrading my shields because I am taking a licking. I don't like that. Uh, you find the small research station discover it's putting out a distress signal. Shows you there's no response. <laughs> Let's dock with it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hang on a second. Oh, I've got to just blow my nose real quick. Uh... Well, damn, this bloody cold. Um... Inside there was signs of a great struggle. Scientists lie dead where they fell, brutally dismembered. You grab a few research drone parts lying on a desk near the door and leave quickly. So there was no shop to deliver to in the end. Weird. Oh well. A mercenary hails you. Greetings, friend. We've heard tell of your quests and offer your valuable services. You know what? I'm going to fight the ship. Because I've no, I don't see the point in any of those other bonuses. So uh, let's just blast him, and we're we're gonna fire everything. Now I don't even know what that drone does. I think that might be a repair drone. Oh well, it's not my problem anymore. <laughs> I will accept their surrender though, because that's a lot of fuels and missiles, even if it's not a lot of money. And with one more power, we can actually put that into the engines, so we dodge more. Let's get out of this sector, because uh, the Rebel Fleet caught us last time. Not allowing that again. Uh, you recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. Attack him, obviously. We're going to get free slaves. I mean, free crew. Oops. <laughs> Wait, what is that? What is that weapon? Um. See, I, having never played advanced content before, I don't know what half this stuff is or what it does. And I am actually genuinely a little concerned about that. So I'm just gonna keep nailing their weapon system and hope that it never fires at me again. And yeah, we take the free crewmate, who's a mantis. I swear, most of the time they give you a Mantis crewmate. I don't know how they bloody capture them. These guys are vicious. They're little fighty buggers. Speaking of which, we're going into Mantis controlled territory. Um, 
With that in mind, I am going to open all the airlocks. I am actually going to avoid the midsections of my ship. Because they tend to like boarding, and uh, I don't like that. <laughs> Well, my dogs has decided that uh, he's going to join me in my room. He's come to help fight the Rebel Scout. I hate cloaking devices so much. Oh, I wish we were at least allowed to charge our weapons during it, but... At least the um, asteroid field has done a number on him for us. That's what he gets for being uh, all cloaked, no shields. And he has no weapon systems there. Boom! Nature wins again! Okay, we'll just wait for the drive. Easy enough. Ah yes, here we go. A derelict and still smoking Mantis vessel floats by. The battle must have been recent. Its surviving crew members beam aboard. Prepare for a fight. Well... Um, that's not good. I am going to try and kite them this way. I'm going to get as many of my crew to the med bay as possible. Speaking of which, I should really have had my med bay on. And this dude's just going to buy some time. But no, he's going to run to the doors. Because I'm just going to avoid as much of the ship as possible. Uh, fuck that mantis bastard. Just let him suffocate slowly. for trying to break down that door. See, that's what you get. Don't board my bloody ship. This is my ship. Alright, everyone. Oh shit, I accidentally saved their, their positions. Um... You were a shield. You're our gunnery. You're our pilot. And you need to go to the med bay and then back to engines. Okay. Our ship only has under half oxygen right now, but that's fine. I'm sure it won't cause us any problems. Shit. Wrong button. God damn it. Well, they can help with the repairs on the engines, uh, shields at least. In fact, everyone can help with the shields. The sooner we get these up, the sooner we can leave. Alright. Pilot. Engines. Gunnery. And save the crew position. There we go. Now it's actually the right way. Oh, shit, we got spotted by a rebel ship. That's fine. At least it's a rebel ship and not a Mantis ship. No more bloody borders. And there goes half our shields. At least that's one of their weapons, Dan. So, uh... They can't necessarily hurt us too bad. I say that as I proceed to then miss every shot on them, allowing them to rebuild stuff. Brace for impact! Ooh! We got lucky there. Alright, while their weapons are down, let's try and deal with their shields. I'm going to fire a shot into there. Yeah, there we go. So I know that I hurt their crew too and set back their repairs. Yeah, let's just keep nailing it back and forth, back and forth. Got plenty of missiles, so we may as well just uh, let them have it. And they thought they could escape. Bye bye. Okay, let's get ourselves at least one more bit of power for the time being. Because uh, it would be useful to have a med bay that functions 100% of the time. Um, let's go this way. There's a bit more options here. 
May I waste no time in engaging your ship? And it's trying to fly. What the hell is that thing? That looks like a bloody Gatling cannon. Oh, okay. It's only some sort of ion weapon. That's fine. Let's put a missile to the engine. Never mind. We missed the engine. If we put a burst laser onto it next, we should be okay. Or it turned invisible. That, that, yeah, that always works out for us. Bastard. There we go. I do like you can see the uh, charge percentage on the gun. And... Pew, 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 pew. At least the scouts are easy to kill. Alright, we got a couple of distress beacons. So we are going to hit some of them. Because those are valuable sometimes. Uh, Jaylee... Giant alien spiders. Let's go deal with them this time. Uh, your crew slowly creeps up on a cluster of the creatures from behind. Without warning, the giant arachnids turn and charge. However, your team stays in control, and before long, you've beaten them back. And they even gave us a nice little reward for doing so. Uh, imagine traveling to space and then still finding spiders. Except this time, they can actually eat you. Fuck that. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than the combat. Yep, surrender your goods. Uh, okay, they didn't surrender it, but... We can take their shit. <laughs> they got the supplies, and it's just more free goodies, so... You know, it would have only, only gone towards helping the rebels cause, and who wants to help the rebels? Not us. Fucking rebel bastards. They keep blowing me up. Oh, they keep blowing me up constantly. <laughs> Man, mantises are not good at repairs. That's that's the one downside to that. Ah, boy. Like, he's good at killing people. But that's about it. <laughs> Damaged our engine, but that's fine. The ship's down. They still managed to get one last missile out at the last second, though. I'm going to put two people on there to prioritise that over the engine. Just because uh, I don't want them working on it too long and letting all the air void. Oh no. Man, I hate spiders with a bloody passion. And the ones that you've just come up with sound even worse. What the hell, man? Ooh, there is a store before we leave the sector. Somehow we managed to gain some intel, I don't know how. But, that's fine. Ooh, there are do repairs. Yeah, I'll go for a full repair on that. Because it is cheaper. And I won't go to the store now, because that's what I really wanted to go there for, was for the repairs. Uh, and we'll go to the NG Homeworlds. Uh, you arrive in energy space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Yeah, let's hit a distress beacon. More alien spiders. We sent our crew in, and oh dear, Mikhail's been eaten. The best fighter in the ship has been eaten. <laughs> uh, your crew boards the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly, a man-sized erector burst from a vent in the ceiling. Followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all crew members. Not everybody made it back. Rest in peace, Mikhail. You were a good crewmate. Just not a very good fighter as it turned out. Uh, I don't want to buy any fuel from them. I'm going to go back to that store real quick. They might have something. Uh, your scrap R's are weapons for you. You're about to raise your shields when you realize it's just an NG trader looking for a trade. I love the crew teleporter in this game. But, not really, uh, viable for us right now. Uh, emergency respirators are not that useful. None of this is particularly useful. What's a backup battery? Provides a 30 second power boost to your reactor. 
Wow, I, that's actually a pretty cool addition. I didn't know that was in here. But I feel like this was a waste of time. There's nothing really I can afford that is worth buying either. But there's just nothing that I really would have bought other than maybe an NG. Because they're useful. Uh, you arrive at a green planet with great plains and rolling waterfalls. It would be of little interest to the NG nearby. How unremarkable. <laughs> Uh, debris from a battle scattered around the system. Uh, from a battle is scattered around the system. A few pieces bounce against your ship. You passively scan them and discover there's a functioning weapon amongst them. Swarm missiles. Ooh, what are these? Uh, if given time to prepare, the swarm launcher uh, can replicate multiple warheads. Um, requires two power, charge time seven, requires missile, shots per charge one, max charge three, normal damage one, shield piercing five, fire chance low, breach chance low. You know what? I actually like that. I like that a lot. So much so, I'm going to upgrade both my power and my weapons and disable the Artemis instead. I also want to see just how this charges. Okay. So I can hit them with a burst of missiles. That's cool. I like that. I'm going to take my time planking through the system a little bit. Uh, an energy colony hiding on the other side of a nearby moon. It turns out they're excavating an equipment cache from the Federation Mantis War. They suggest it might be used, used to lure the pursuing the rebel feet. Let's secure the cache instead. Uh, yeah, 28 bucks and a system repair drone. System repairs can at least be sold. Like, the other option would have got uh, uh, delayed the fleet a bit, so. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Let's send an away party. Uh, I receive a... As you approach the signal, you receive a message from a rebel channel. I knew we'd catch some Federation fish with the symbol. Prepare to be boarded, scum. Okay. So, that's not very nice of them. They have decided to board our ship. Uh, they made a bit of a weird decision, though. Uh, they've decided that they're going to, like, put, uh, remove the oxygen from their own, uh, the own room that they're operating in. Which is, uh, an unusual flex. I'll give him that. They also have a battle bot with them for some reason. Okay, we're gonna shuffle the crew around a little bit. Let's just, um... What are they still about? Is it just that robot? We are in a lot of trouble right now. We have no oxygen. And uh, they've they've broken most of our shit. We don't even have a functioning engine, nor functioning weapons it seems. Uh, we are probably going to die. Uh, in fact, we almost certainly are going to die. Yeah. I know why well, that's not filling with oxygen, and it isn't just because the oxygen's broken. Um, shit. Well, that ship really fucked us up. And that was a, a pretty bad run. I think a lot of that came down to the fact that I just didn't understand a lot of the new stuff that was happening. Like, I don't know what half the stuff is in this game, so... You know, it, it was worth a try. Our first run happened to be our best. Funny that, the Idol Blast crew is the best crew. Oh shit, didn't mean to hit that button, but... Um... 
You know what? Let's just full screen my stuff. With that out of the way, I'm going to call that uh, end of the stream tonight. Thank you guys for joining me and watching. And have a good evening wherever you are. This has been Nella Hound. Peace out.